In this video, we're going to go over work. You can think of work as a measure of how much a force contributes to the displacement of an object. The equation for work is the following. Work equals F D cosine theta. F is the force, D is displacement, and theta is the angle between force and displacement. From this equation, we're able to determine the units for work. It's the units of force times the units for displacement. As you recall, the units for force is a newton. A newton is coming from our force equals mass times acceleration equation. Mass is kilograms, acceleration is meter per second squared. So a newton is a kilogram meter per second squared. Displacement is in meters, so that means the units for work is kilogram meter squared per second squared. If you recall, this is the same as kinetic energy and potential energy. So that means that work also has the same units of joules. All right, so now let's look at a practice problem. We have a situation here where a person pushes a 10 kilogram box five meters to the right with an applied force of 30 newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.1 and we want to know how much work is done by each force. So as usual, we can start by drawing out the situation. So we have this box of mass M that is getting pushed to the right with this applied force of 30 Newtons. Now, in addition to the applied force, we have several other forces here. We have the weight of the box, the force of gravity. We have the normal force, and we have the force of kinetic friction. So to calculate the work done by each force, we can do this one at a time. So let's go ahead and start with the force applied. So to do this force applied, we use our equation, work equals F D cosine theta. The force here is the force applied, which we know is 30 Newtons. The displacement of the box, we know the box moved five meters to the right, and we want the cosine theta. Theta is the angle between the force and displacement. In this case, the applied force is to the right, and displacement is also to the right. So since they're in the same direction, the angle between them is zero degrees. Cosine of zero degrees is one. So we have 30 times five times one, which is gonna give us 150 joules. So the force applied does 150 joules of positive work. All right, so let's take a look at another force. Let's consider the force of gravity. Again, we use the same equation, work equals FD cosine theta. The force here is the weight of the box, so mg. So we have mgd cosine theta. The mass of the box, we know is 10 kilograms. Gravity, we know is 10 meters per second squared. The displacement, the box still moved five meters to the right. And then we have cosine of theta. Theta, angle between the force of gravity straight down and the displacement to the right, that's gonna give us a 90 degree angle. So this is cosine of 90, and notably, cosine of 90 is zero. So that means that the force of gravity does not do any work. It does zero joules of work. And this is important to note because any force which is perpendicular to the direction of motion cannot do work. And the force of gravity is perpendicular to the direction of motion, so is the normal force. So without having to write anything out, we know that the normal force for sure does not do any work because it is also perpendicular to the displacement. All right, so the last one we can consider then is kinetic friction. So the equation F D cosine theta. The force of friction we know is equal to mu times the normal force, right? Mu sub k, coefficient of friction. The normal force, we know in this case, it cancels out with the weight of the box, mg. 
So that means normal force is equal to mg. So now we can plug in values. Mu of k we know is 0 0.1. The mass is 10 kilograms. Gravity is 10 meters per second squared. Displacement is still 5 meters. And then we have cosine of the angle, which is, in this case, displacement is to the right, friction is in the opposite direction to the left. If they're in opposite direction, then the angle between them is 180 degrees. Now, cosine of 180 is negative one. So that means the force of friction does negative work. And then 0.1 times 10 is one, times 10 times five is going to give us 50 joules. So that means the kinetic friction does negative 50 joules of work. All right, now this is the amount of work done by each of the forces, so we've solved this problem. And also there's something important that we've noted here, that depending on what the angle is between the force and displacement, you can do different amounts of work. So specifically, if the angle theta is between zero and 90 degrees, the work done is gonna be a positive value. If theta is equal to 90 degrees, your force isn't gonna do any work, it's gonna be equal to zero. And if the angle is between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, then your force is going to do negative work. All right. In the next video, we're going to look at how the work can impact the energy of the object.